KCM Canadian partners Bill and Gwen Prankard have been in ministry since 1972, preaching, teaching, and reaching lost and forgotten people, one person and one family at a time. Recently, John Copeland had the opportunity to talk with Bill face to face. Well, Bill, I'd like to thank you for joining me here at headquarters of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And I want to thank you for what you do with the Inuit people in northern Canada and Russia. I can't tell you what I, it meant to me 13 years ago or so when I got a letter from your Canadian office saying they're going to partner with us. You know, God told us to have a great healing center in Ottawa and raise up an army of healing evangelists and open a healing clinic. But KCM came along again said, we believe it's important that a healing center be in the nation's capital and sowed into that right at the right time. And uh, you've been life to us. Your headquarters is there yeah. out of Ottawa. Yeah. And then from there, you go up into the northern country, above Canada, yeah. over into Russia. Tell us about, you know, what a typical day in the world <laughs> of Bill Prankard Evangelistic Association. Would be. Well, every day is exciting, but um, I found out years ago that there were real needs in the northern part of Canada. We started going up there and I fell in love with the people. And over the years, we started to see so many good things happen, whole communities being touched in Canada and help them build churches, help train pastors. And then in the early 90s, I heard that there were people in Russia, Eskimo people that had never heard and I thought we gotta go. And I was told it was impossible. And um, I found out that the only way or the best way to travel in these isolated areas, find these people who live out in the tundra, follow the reindeers, live in tents. They're, they're the last nomadic group of Eskimos in the world is to get a tank. But um, KCM started pouring into our ministry to help us do this. These trips are extremely expensive. My wife came up with this idea that I believe God gave her. Why don't we start DVD churches? Give them DVD machines, whether they're in a tent or in a village, in material, in Russian. Well, KCM has it all. And so you supply us with your television programs translated in Russian. We duplicate it, we buy DVD machines, we buy generators for them, and they watch these over and over and over again. So is it spreading? This is the thing, they get it immediately. Your ministry had supplied us with thousands of copies of all of the books in Russian. And so we went into this one tent and it was an extended family. So we gave them a bunch of books and Bible and they, they gave their lives to Christ that day. Then the lady said, can I have more books? And I said, well, you've got quite a few. And she said, come here. And she, she went outside and pointed across the river and you could just see the tops of some tents behind a hill. She said, they need it over there. And she said, if you give me these books, I'll do what you do. Like John, in like a minute, she became an evangelist. So every time we go back, we meet groups of people who are so strong in their faith that we have had no contact with. They've been reached by the believers. They've been reached through reading KCM books and all the material and watching the DVDs. This is the seed of your ministry. Your partners have to know that they're changing entire regions of Arctic Russia and how easy it is for them. All they do is support KCM every month. And as you support us, and you do in such an amazing way, we can take the gospel to these people and provide the material. And it's making a difference. There's a spiritual connection. And ever since you've started partnering, the work in the, in the Arctic has exploded. And that's not a coincidence. We're, we've merged anointings in this thing and we're workers together. And, and uh, I know that when we get in the tank that Kenneth and Gloria and all of you are in the tank with us <laughs> in a nice way. <laughs> yeah, but in a warmer climate. In a warmer climate. <laughs> and so, you know, uh, it's a thrill for me to just say thank you. Well, thank you, Bill, for your God partnership. Bless you. God bless you.